Hi, I'm Mrs. Organized and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be taking you through a typical day of cleaning, organizing and tidying with me in my home. I hope this video gives you motivation to clean and organize your own space. So sit back and watch me do the work or turn up the music and clean and organize with me. Let's turn mundane tasks into something more enjoyable. If you like videos about home organization, home hacks and life hacks, please subscribe. Now let's get into it. My day starts by making my favorite breakfast, which is a bowl of porridge. I store my pots and pans in this handy turntable, which makes accessing my pots and pans really easy. I keep my rolled oats in this OXO pop container, which I've labeled using stick-on vinyl labels I got from Lulu and You. I'll leave a link to all products mentioned in this video in the notes below. I use the time while my porridge is cooking on the stove to unload my dishwasher. I'm just filling my daughter's water bottles for the day using filtered water from my Billy Tap. I love my Billy Tap, it's got filtered water and boiling water access and guys since I bought it I just don't know how I lived without it before. It saved so much time and it means more bench space because I don't need to leave a water filter or a kettle on the bench top. I like using these stainless steel bottles because they're insulated and easy to clean.
I'm just putting a fresh plastic bag into my little kitchen bin and I love this bin it's big enough that it holds all the rubbish for the day and what I love most about it is that it hangs inside the door under my sink so it's out of sight and you don't see or smell the rubbish it's a nice neat little bin that I got from Amazon So by the time I finished unloading everything, my porridge is done and I'm just pouring it out for myself and my two daughters. So these are the things that I add to my porridge every morning. I like to put a little bit of protein powder in because I work out almost every day so I need that extra bit of protein. And this is a health mix I made up myself. It's got chia seeds, maca powder, flax seeds, linseeds and nutritional yeast in it. This is my Beauty Shake Collagen Powder. It's supposed to make your skin look really nice and healthy and glowing. And I like to add a few dried raisins as well for some sweetness. And there's also antioxidants in raisins. And finally I add my Manuka honey and my kids just have Manuka honey on their porridge. While I eat my breakfast I write my to-do list for the day. On my list today, I've put down laundry, grocery shopping, clean my ensuite bathroom, organise kids' bookshelves, tidy magazine corner, and dust indoor plants. It's time to wash up after breakfast. I like to fully rinse all the food off my bowls and plates before I put it in the dishwasher. I know it takes a bit longer, but it means I don't need to clean the dishwasher filter as often. I like to use this all natural dishwashing liquid from Abode. It smells great and does a fantastic job. The downside of making porridge 
is that it takes a bit of time and elbow grease to scrub the pot. If anybody knows how to make porridge without it sticking like glue to the pot, please let me know in the comments below. After breakfast it's time to take the washing out of the washing machine that I put on last night and I put on a delay start so that it washed first thing in the morning. A quick way of hanging up the washing is to fill a waste bag up with clothes pegs so you don't have to keep on reaching over for the peg basket. If you'd like more hacks on how to do laundry faster, I put a link below to a video I made where I give you my top tips on speeding up the laundry process.
My fridge needed a restock, so I've just been to the supermarket and back. By the way, does anybody know the best time and day to go grocery shopping? From the information I've been able to gather, deliveries from farms and markets come to supermarkets on Mondays and midweek, but not on the weekend. So apparently, the worst time to go grocery shopping would be on a Sunday night when stocks are low and the best time, especially for fresh produce, would be a Monday or Tuesday morning. I store fruit that needs to be ripened on this wooden platter on the kitchen counter. It's easy to keep clean and easier to see all the produce and check when it's ripened if it's laid out rather than if it's on top of each other in a bowl. Once it's ripe, I'll either eat it or put it in the fridge. It's a simple joy in life, but it really does make me happy to fill my platter with a beautiful array of fresh fruit.
I'm moving upstairs now and it's time to clean my bathroom. I like to keep benches and tabletops as minimalist as possible because it makes it easier to clean. This is a sink full of my hair that came out after I brushed it. If anybody knows any tips on how to thicken your hair, please let me know. I've heard that seaweed is good, so I've been eating a lot of that. I dry with this amazing microfiber cloth that leaves the mirror clear and streak free. I can't remember where I got it from but it says Fibertech on the tag. I've been trying to search for another one but can't find it so if anybody happens to know please let me know in the comments below. I got this bath soap for Christmas from my sister-in-law and while it's really beautiful to smell and a lovely experience, it does unfortunately leave quite a bit of mess in my bathtub. I'm just using my natural dishwashing liquid from Abode to clean my bathtub.
these Reynards dry baby wipes are so handy I use them for cleaning my kids faces or just for cleaning surfaces and it's really great they're dry and you just rinse them with water I like rolling these face towels up that I use to wash the kids. It makes me feel like I'm in a fancy hotel bathroom. A super quick, easy and effective way to clean the toilet is to use denture tablets. I made a video on my best and easiest toilet cleaning tips so I'll link it below if you haven't already seen it. Moving into my daughter's bedroom, I'm just dusting and tidying up the dressing table I bought from Target for her birthday.
I'm just tidying up my daughter's bookshelf and wanted to show you this neat stackable plastic canister I got from Kmart. It's meant to be a candy jar but can be used for anything. It would be great for storing jewellery or makeup pads and other bathroom supplies. I've been meaning to tidy up the books so that they look more presentable, so let's get to it. I've just found this sticky stain behind the books on the bookshelf. I have no idea what it is, but my favourite product to use for sticky stains is eucalyptus oil. It works a treat and smells really good too. To keep the books nice and straight, I use these plastic file racks. It's time to move downstairs and I'm just going to clean and tidy 
the bookcases that I got from IKEA that I use to store my kids toys and books in.
I've been meeting to tidy up and reorganise this little corner where my husband leaves his magazines and newspapers. So what I've decided to do is use a filing rack to make it more presentable. I'm just using eucalyptus oil again to get rid of the sticky stain that's left on the filing rack after I removed the tag. One of my favourite chores is to dust my indoor house plants. This plant is called a Calathea and I just think it's beautiful. The colours on the leaves are, and the patterns are so interesting. And I just love indoor plants. They make the whole place feel really relaxed and it just they just make me happy. Dusting plants is also really good for the plants because it allows more sunlight into the leaves so that they can photosynthesize. And this is my beautiful Monstera. I bought it and it was only knee high and after about a year it's grown this tall. It's just a beautiful plant. I really love it. There's always quite a mess after my kids and I have had lunch, so it's time to get stuck into it.
my kids are pretty messy eaters so there's often a lot of crumbs and food bits on the floor and I like to hand wipe it because if I use the Dyson it's just going to smear it everywhere so yeah getting down on my hands and knees after lunch is a common practice for me Glass tables are beautiful but boy do they show up every single speck of food and grime and dirt and yeah it's a lot harder to clean than having a wooden table but I think it's worth it. So as usual I'm just using straight vinegar to wipe the glass tabletop and it leaves it nice and shiny and clear. So this is the state of the playroom after my kids have played in it. Uh, I'm sure every parent is used to this and yeah luckily my kids are a bit older now so they can help me pack it up. I keep my recycling bins in the pantry and I found these bins from Ikea. They're just the perfect height to fit under the shelf in my pantry and I have one bin for paper, cardboard and the other bin is for plastic bags. After finishing everything on my to-do list, it's time to pick some mint leaves from my garden and enjoy a nice cup of tea.
while I'm enjoying my cup of tea, I'll just prune off the brown leaves on my indoor plant. If you found this video useful, please show it by clicking on the like button below. And if you want to see more videos about home organisation, home hacks and life hacks, please subscribe to my channel by clicking here or the red subscribe button below. I think you'll also find these videos useful and feel free to leave any questions or comments below as I love reading them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!